Now with more of our exclusive with Shannon Doherty, revealing her health diagnosis with stage four breast cancer. Now we're hearing why she waited a year to go public with the news as support pours in. She sat down with our Amy to share her story. This morning, new details from Shannon Doherty herself, opening up about why she decided to keep news of her stage four breast cancer diagnosis a secret from the public for a year. When you tell people that you have stage four metastatic breast cancer, everything changes. The way yeah. people treat you changes. The way people look at you changes. Yeah, I mean, they look at you like you're dead man walking, basically. Um, and that uh, they need to say their goodbyes to you or something. And also work dries up. Oh, there she is. You know, I enjoy working and working gives me just another reason to wake up every morning. It's another reason to fight to stay alive. Can you tell me how you found that your cancer had returned? I started feeling some very odd aches. So I called my oncologist and he said, all right, let's, you know, let's just get you in. I think in the back of your head, you are always suspecting that this is going to happen. But I had definitely also in another way convinced myself that I had beaten it, you know, like I was, I was the true warrior. I was the true survivor. I was. You said you slayed cancer yeah. in 2017 yeah, Good Morning America. Slayer. With that initial breast cancer diagnosis, mm -hmm. you took to social media yeah. and you shared a lot of your journey. Are you going to continue to share? on social media, how you're doing? I don't know. I don't post a lot anymore, and I also don't want to be a bummer. <laughs> and yes, I want to be positive, and yes, I want to be a beacon of light for other people, or at least somebody that, that people can relate to and that we can have an honest conversation and talk about how hard it is. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to be raw and honest about it. Support for Doherty pouring in from her former Charmed co-star Alyssa Milano writing, holding you tight in my heart, to Rose McGowan tweeting, I wish you peace and strength on your journey. You are an inspiration to so many. Her announcement resonating with fans across the globe. Our life doesn't end the minute we get that diagnosis. We still have some living to do. I believe it's been said it's not how long you live, it's how you live. Yeah. Yes. I'd prefer a little longer. <laughs> For Good Morning America, Amy Robach, ABC News, New York. Our thanks to Amy and certainly our thanks to Shannon Doherty for opening up like that. And Dr. Jennifer Ashton is going to join us now to discuss this further because the reaction has yeah. just been overwhelming. We can just uh, explain to people recurrence and right. how it's diagnosed. So with any type of cancer, Robin, but in particularly with, with her case with breast cancer, there can be different types of recurrence. It can be local, it could be regional, which meaning the lymph, lymph nodes in the area, or it can be distant to other parts of the body. That's when we call something typically stage four or metastatic. When you're talking about breast cancer, the most common sites of metastasis or distant spread, brain, bones, lung, liver, um, and at that point, it's important medically to understand that the goal shifts from a cure to treating and managing. So, I mean, it, it's still, you're still taking care of the patient and the patient's still fighting. And, and the effectiveness of those treatments can really vary from person to person. Yeah, you know, George, everyone wants to know numbers. They want to know statistics. And what I say in medicine and what almost every oncologist will say in the field of cancer, those statistics are useful, but they're not you. Yeah. So, you know, we, we try not to focus too much on a number, a five-year survival, a rate. You're an entire individual. Every patient, every person will have their own experience, and there is always, always reason for hope. So we try not to get too bogged down in numbers. But Shannon talked about she wants to keep working. Yeah. So what role does mindset play in all of this? Well, we saw it right mm -hmm. here, right? I mean, so important. Um, you know, people have to keep living. I think what everyone will find their own way of doing that, whether it's working, whether it's volunteering, whether it's starting a charity, whether it's opening up and writing a book or a blog or, or a focus group, or a support group. That can be very therapeutic, not just for others, but for that person. But I also think it's important that we acknowledge the normal emotions that a person Please. Please. battling cancer Please. go through yeah. anger fear sadness almost on a daily basis and that's okay so the more we open up like this the more we bring that to the forefront the better it is for everyone and we thank Shannon for doing yeah, that 100%. helping us have this discussion yeah. and you Robin no, and Amy no, no, no. Yeah. thoughts Definitely. and prayers are with her yeah, for sure. Absolutely. sure and thank you so much doc <laughs>
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.